Hi, my name is Ufuk Efe. I'm a senior master of science student at Middle East Technical University. In this presentation, I will talk about our work, DFM, a performance baseline for deep feature matching, in collaboration with Dr. Kutalmış Gökalpince and Professor Aydın Alat. This work was performed in a joint research project between Meto Center for Image Analysis and Roketsan. Classical image matching pipeline consists of feature detection, description, matching, and geometric transformation estimation steps. Most of the popular algorithms before the deep learning era have focused on one or more phases in this pipeline. During recent years, image matching met deep learning and number of variable efforts have been made. However, most of these algorithms still rely on the classical pipeline. On the other hand, some recently developed integrated approach find correspondences between two images by benefiting deep features of a single network, instead of separately doing feature detection, description, and matching. These integrated and planned approach aim to output high quality matches between images. And CNET and patch to peaks are some examples of integrated approach. Also, our algorithm, DFM takes part in this approach. Our key motivation was combining pre-trained deep feature extractors with a mutual nearest neighbor search algorithm. For a while, off-the-shelf deep feature extractors work very well on various computer vision tasks. And a simple but effective feature matching technique, namely mutual nearest neighbor search with ratio test, has been using for many years. We wanted to benefit from the pyramidal structure of the extractor by employing nearest neighbor search in a hierarchical way. Considering that this pyramidal structure has different semantic and local information in each layer, we believe that utilizing this information may be well for the image matching problem, since a good image matcher should output robust and well localized matches. Given an image pair A and B, we first perform deep feature extraction for both images using a pre-trained VGG19 network. Then we continue with dense nearest neighbor search and hierarchical refinement steps. We utilize the DNSS block, which is basically mutual nearest neighbor search with ratio test to find the matches between two feature maps at the lowest resolution. These are our initial matches. These initial matches correspond to matching areas in the previous layers. On the left, you can see matches at layer five, and on the right, you can see corresponding matching areas at layer four. For VGG19, matching areas are two by two regions, then we feed DNSS independently with feature vectors inside these matching areas. By doing so, we restrict the search area and avoid looking for matches at irrelevant locations. Therefore, DNSS is enforced to match four descendants of two relevant matching areas. We apply this procedure to each matching area. This kind of approach provides some beautiful properties. This figure illustrates that the first iteration of the hierarchical refinement algorithm. Inherently, a match in previous layer is ex expected to be better localized due to the fact that shallow layers have better localization. Here, you can see an example of better localized match. Besides, thanks to the ratio test, a match may be discarded if its descendants are not discriminative enough. The yellow match is discarded since n of its descendants find pair in relevant matching area. Moreover, if two or more descendants in a matching area find their partners, then a match in the previous layers is propagated. The purple match is an example of this, since it propagated as two candidates. Note that it is also possible the number of propagated candidates as three or four. DFM continues hierarchical refinement until the first layer. day. 
Hierarchical refinement algorithm has some key outcomes. First, it gives accurate matches. Due to the pyramidal structure of the network, shallow layers are better localized. Moving forward to the very first layer provides accurate matches. Also, it gives robust matches. It is due to the consecutive application of DNSS. That means on the matches who pass several tests can survive. Otherwise, they are discarded. And note that in each test, hierarchical refinement uses different descriptors. Apart from the high quality matches, DFM gives a great number of matches because DNSS allows propagation. Additionally, we can implement hierarchical refinement in a parallel way for each matching area. We should only execute iterations between layers in a serial way. Here, we have visually illustrated the hierarchical refinement algorithm. You can see how matched features propagate as moving forward to first layer. It started with 2000 matched features and scored 0.33 in terms of mean matching accuracy under 5 pixel saturation. Ultimately, it ended up with 9000 matched features with 0.92 accuracy. Also here, you can see that how the hierarchy refinement deals with outliers that are coming from DNSS at the last layer. Starting with such an outlier set that consists of poorly localized or complete failure matches, it is still able to find good matches, either discarding the outliers or enhancing their localizations. Even if it starts with zero accuracy, DFM accomplished the task with 0.9 accuracy. And besides, it increased the number of matched features. Until now, I have talked about dense nearest neighbor search and hierarchy refinement, which we have named this structure as stage one. Also, we have realized that although stage one successfully works for many image pairs, it suffers under extreme viewpoint changes, more specifically under significant inline rotations. Therefore, we have added a preliminary step, namely stage zero. In this stage, DFM basically performs a coarse transformation estimation using matches that come from only terminal layers, which have better semantic information. Hence, these features are robust to an extreme viewpoint change. Utilizing this coarse homography, DFM works the second image and roughly aligns it with the first image. Then we feed stage one with image A and the warped version of image B. We have observed that this kind of approach improves the results, although it is not strictly necessary. You can see on the figure feature matching evaluation of H patches data sets in terms of mean matching accuracy and variance of DFM are demonstrated as dashed lines. DFM achieved a better performance than the state of the art for lower pixel thresholds. Apart from the promising matching results, DFM has much more matches than other compared algorithms. This means DFM returns to answer matches, claiming that there are at least these many matches giving these MMA results. The qualitative illustrations show that DFM is able to find dancer matches. Also, DFM can provide further dancer matches by arranging the ratio test parameters, but it may also create some outliers. We have adjusted the parameters experimentally. Performing a grid test for optimizing the parameters is one of our feature plans. DFM still has an acceptable performance even the presence of significant viewpoint change between images. Also, it finds dancer matches. Thanks to our rough alignment at stage zero, DFM is resistant to some level of inline rotations. You can see single stage DFM's results at the bottom left, and obviously it is worse than the two stage approach, which, which can be seen at the bottom right. Not that, Patch to pix has no alignment step. If we apply our state zero as a preliminary step before it, 
patch to pigs may also perform well under some amount of inline rotations. We also leave as a feature work applying our stage zero to other rail algorithms as a preliminary step. As a summary, our main contributions is threefold. First, we have presented a baseline architecture using of the shaft deep feature extractors with no training and only employing standard techniques. Second, we have shown the strength of mutual nearest neighbor search with ratio test when utilized for immediate descendants in a hierarchical way. Finally, we have also shown the performance improvement of rough alignment with semantic layers as a preliminary step. In other words, our state zero. After all, DFM has obviously a limitation, which is the initial warping assumes that the match scenes are planar. So in non-planar scenes, stage zero will quite likely fail. Frankly, we did not evaluate the FM on non-planar data sets yet, like Inlog and Ahan Day 9. Thank you for listening. Our code will be publicly available in a few days, and feel free to contact me. <laughs>